you know, Israel is 21% uh, almost of Israeli society is the, the not Jewish society, the Arab minority. Arab minority, Arab Palestinian minority are 21%, almost 21% of the Israeli society. Um, and the Bedouins are part of that, are minority within a minority. And I am representing the Bedouin community at least. You know, Bedouins are two parts in Israel. You have the ones who are living where I'm coming from, a very small minority, small community, 40,000 people. And the rest is living in the desert of the Negev, in the southern part of Israel. Bedouins are not uh, Jews, of course, are not big Zionists. Bedouins are Muslims. Bedouins are the nomad part of the Arab world. We are part of the Arab culture. We are Muslims. Some call us even the reform Muslims, if you, you know, compare to Judaism. Because the secular Muslims, I would say, because Bedouins used to be nomads, like, in tri like living in tribal society, like the American natives who are living here. And uh, moving, nomads, moving from place to another. So religion, Islam, wasn't part of our, a strong part of our, let me say, background because nobody built mosques, nobody built education, you know, schools and so on. Stability wasn't part of our uh, background. You know, Israel was perceived with, for people as only a Jewish state, a Zionist state. And if you are not Jewish, if you are a Muslim, for instance, in this case, you can't be live there. One of the tough questions that people ask me, okay, do you do the Bedouins, and I'm coming with the story, have, do you have your people, your community, as a minority in Israel, have a right to vote? Shocking. And believe me again, from the bottom of my heart, very smart people, educated, having, you know, laptops, iPods. Uh, people are asking me, really, can this happen? Like Ishmael, Israel, two different sides, sometimes could be enemies. Can, this, can those things go together? Is that possible? So my answer is yes. A Muslim can represent the state of Israel today. Israel, of course, the one that you see in the evening news. Israel, the one you hear about. Israel, the one who is you know, fighting Arabs, Arabs fighting Jews, Israelis fighting Palestinians, and more and more. It's part of the story, unfortunately. But what can we do with that? It's not one, it won't be solved tomorrow morning. One of the very tough questions I've heard here. How come that someone like myself, who is a Muslim or a Bedouin, uh, coming, uh, I was sent, sent, you know, like I didn't come by myself, I was chose, I was sent here. Uh, and the Bedouins, we, don't, we are not forced to, to, to go anywhere. We go wherever we want to go. Uh, how come, how come, yeah, how come that I came, was sent uh, thousands of miles to this area to advocate Israeli equality? Israeli, let me say, uh, democracy, while back home, as you know, by being a minority, uh, among my brothers and sisters, I'm not entitled to them. Who told you that? You know, I'm hearing those questions, and I think it's very sad. I think, again, the, 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 there are problems. To tell you the truth, and there are so many problems. You know, there are many problems, even with the Israeli Jewish society, if you want to make the distinctions. Jews who came, immigrated to Israel from, uh, let me say, the Arab countries. Who make uh, immigrate, who immigrated from Europe, from immigrated from East Europe, maybe from Russia and from America and from uh, South America, and anything. I think it's a cultural, ethnic thing that always, you know, the clash is there. It, it, you know, it's there. And of course, when it comes to us being not Jewish in Israel, it's also another uh, problem. It doesn't mean that you know there's something against us only because we are a minority. We are not Jewish minority, while Israel is Jewish state. I, I, I think it's wrong. It's not fair. It's not right. President Carter, why did you use the word apartheid in the book's title? When I proposed this title, by the way, the title doesn't have any punctuation in it. We, we intended to be Palestinian peace, not apartheid. I chose that title knowing that it would be provocative. I chose that title knowing that it would be provocative. There's no semblance of anything relating to apartheid within the nation of Israel. There's no semblance of anything relating to apartheid within the nation of Israel.